These tragic tales may have you second-guessing your desire for an adventure. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the Top 10 Expeditions Gone Wrong. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at some of the most notorious explorations that didn't go according to plan and remain cautionary tales. Number 10. The Burke and Wills Expedition During the mid-19th century, South Australia's government put out a reward of 2,000 pounds for anyone who could cross the south-north interior of the Australian continent. Two men named Robert Burke and William John Wills took on the challenge of traveling across Australia, a distance of over 2,000 miles. Despite having no exploration experience whatsoever, Burke was selected to head up the expedition of 19 men. While the team did reach the Gulf, their return trip coincided with monsoon season, and they faced vitamin deficiency. Overall, seven men died, including Burke and Wills, with only one man surviving to come back to Melbourne. Number 9. The 1996 Mount Everest Disaster Is our fearless leader Rob Hall? <laughs> Notice the gloves on our fearless leader. Can't, uh, yes, that's right. Climbing Mount Everest is a significant feat, but almost 300 people have died attempting to reach the summit. One of the worst disasters occurred on May 11, 1996. Over 30 people were attempting to reach the summit on May 10, causing a backlog of climbers waiting for ropes to be fastened. The delay resulted in an oxygen shortage, slowing the climbers even further. By the time several of the groups had started to climb down, weather conditions had declined, and the teams found themselves in the middle of a blizzard. Several died, including expedition leader Rob Hall, who had reached the summit of Everest four other times during his life. If you're not pushy, you don't have any chance of getting up a big mountain. If you're too pushy, you don't get to come home. Number 8. The Darien Scheme Through the late 17th century, England was dominant in terms of trade, and Scotland lived in its shadow. Desperate to prove its worth, Scotland sought to create a colony on the Isthmus of Panama on the Gulf of Darien, named Caledonia. The colonization got off to a rough start, however, they began with 1,200 settlers, but soon lost 10 people per day to disease and sickness. After eight months, the surviving 300 people deserted the colony, but many were disowned by their families upon return. A second expedition was launched, unaware of what had happened the first time. It suffered a similar fate and resulted in the near financial ruin of the country. Number seven, Percy Fawcett's Lost City of Zed Expedition. I call it set! It is there! Unlike some of the other entries on our list, Percy Fawcett was a seasoned and successful explorer. In the early 20th century, he made several expeditions through South America. During his research, Fawcett formulated an idea about a lost city of Zed in Mato Grosso, Brazil. Together with his son and his son's friend, the team set out on April 20th, 1925 to locate the city. Fawcett communicated with his wife for over a month before vanishing. While no one knows exactly what happened to the men, some assume they were killed by native tribes in the area. Sadly, nearly 100 people have died in subsequent attempts to uncover the truth about his demise. He doesn't care about us. He doesn't even care about going home. Number 6. Panfilo de Narvaez's Mexico and Florida Expeditions if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. In the case of Panfilo de Narvaez, however, perhaps he should have learned from his first experience. Narvaez first failed to stop Hernán Cortés from taking over Mexico, even though his army was triple the size of Cortés's. This embarrassing failure somehow earned him the opportunity to go occupy Florida. Narvaez left Spain in 1527 with five ships and 600 men. However, a severe storm destroyed several of the ships, and those who made it to Florida weren't given a warm welcome. With numbers decimated, Narvaez planned to return to sea. Another storm prevented that, however, and killed even more men, including Narvaez. In fact, only four people lived to tell the tale. Number 5. Henry Hudson's Bay Expedition 
The Hudson Strait, River, and Bay are all named for this English explorer. But Hudson's main aim was to find a route in the Northwest Passage to reach China, and he tried to do so multiple times. He set out on his final voyage in 1610, making it as far as James Bay before getting caught in the ice. When spring came and Hudson and his crew were freed, Hudson expressed his intention to continue his search. This didn't sit well with the team, who just wanted to go home. The crew ultimately mutinied, leaving Hudson, his son, and seven other men stranded in a small boat in the middle of Hudson Bay. Number 4. S.A. Andre's Arctic Balloon Expedition Many people have tried to reach the North Pole, but few have attempted to do so via hydrogen balloon. But that's exactly what Swedish explorer S.A. Andre attempted in 1897. The goal of the expedition was to fly from the Svalbard archipelago to Russia or Canada, with his planned route taking him over the North Pole. Andre's high hopes were dashed two days after takeoff, however, when the hydrogen leaked out of the balloon, leading it to crash on the icy sea. Although Andre and his two companions were not injured in the crash, they were ill-prepared to handle the harsh journey southwards across the ice, and all three soon perished. Number 3. John Franklin's Lost Expedition An experienced explorer, Sir John Franklin captained an expedition consisting of two ships and 128 other men to voyage the last unexplored part of the Northwest Passage in 1845. Through extensive research after the fact, it became clear that both ships got stuck in the ice off King William Island in 1846, stranding the entire expedition. Several crew members died while on King William Island, including Franklin himself who perished in 1847. The rest died while attempting to walk toward the Back River in Canada's Northwest Territories and Nunavut. Number 2. The Donner Reed Party One of the stranger expeditions gone wrong on our list, this group of American migrant pioneers was conducted by George Donner and James F. Reed in 1846. 87 people undertook this arduous journey, hoping to cut down on the distance by taking a shortcut, but this decision led to their doom. The rough environments caused the destruction of multiple wagons and a loss of cattle. Relations within the group became tense, and Reed himself was ejected from the party. In November, the colonists got shut in near Truckee Lake by insurmountable snow. After being trapped for four months, only 48 of the original 87 ended up arriving in California. Many of them had eaten their dead companions for sustenance. Number 1. Terra Nova, also known as the British Antarctic Expedition We've already had two disastrous Arctic expeditions on this list, but attempting to explore the opposite pole has proven just as difficult. The Terra Nova expedition began in 1910, headed by Captain Robert Falcon Scott who had successfully led an expedition to the Antarctic just six years prior. Despite obstacles, Scott and his team reached the South Pole on January 17, 1912. The return journey, however, took a toll on the group and eventually claimed all their lives. A huge drop in temperature and the failure of the dog team to reach the group essentially sealed their fate. In Scott's journal, the final thing he wrote on March 29, 1912 was the end cannot be far. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.